Hi and welcome, my dear amazing subscribers, my dear viewers. Thank you for being here with me on my YouTube channel. My name is Anita Lewis and in this video I want to share my story and let my story be the guide step by step how to be happy how to become happy and healthy and fulfilled in your life because I've been there now I'm 43 but my first 30 years was really a dark age of my life I was uh, living in a victim mode I had a tough childhood and since then on everything was going let's say wrong I did everything right but everything turned out wrong. So I was disappointed, I was uh, sad, not satisfied, feeling unhappy, and then I was also sick. So how to change? First step that you need to do, and first step that I did is, I decided that I'm really sick and tired of this all. I don't want to be unhappy anymore. So you have to say that you want to be happy. You want to be fulfilled and you want the power in your hands. So regardless of the outside circumstances, you want the responsibility for your life and you want to be happy. So when you make the decision, then you're actually committing to yourself because happiness is an inside job. A lot of outside circumstances are not going to change instantaneously and some relationships are going to end but better is coming and better is waiting for you when you decide that you are not a victim you are a creator of your life so again i'm repeating regardless of the outside circumstances you are doing the inside job training yourself to be satisfied fulfilled, selfish in a positive sense, that you love yourself, that you are committed to yourself, that you have time for yourself no matter what, even like 10 minutes a day for yourself. I literally, when my kid was, um, he was a baby and I worked all day long um, and I spent time with him as much as I could, there was no time for me. But I woke up in the middle of the night to do a meditation. Then I fell asleep. <laughs> but just because of my intention, I set an intention for myself that I have time for myself, time uh, like miraculously came. So at the end, I remember he was going uh, to a training. He was doing gymnastics when he was just three, four years old. And in that time, I was sitting in a car waiting for him and I was meditating. I was reading, I was doing the personal development and I was enjoying my free time, time for me. And I remember the moment I said that I am going to listen to myself and dedicate my time for myself, that I'm going to care how I feel, so you have to care how you feel that I'm going to love myself and meditate and so on. My husband said like, why are you so selfish? Why are you detaching? Why are you taking time for yourself? So he was accusing me and he was like just surprised. Like, who am I? I'm changing. Why am I changing? He was basically afraid. Like, where am I going? I'm just going two meters uh, away to, <laughs> to have some space and time for myself. And yeah, I was being accused of being selfish. So one of the steps that is going to bring you happiness is um, dedicate time and space for yourself. Be selfish. And that's that positive selfishness. Because you do have to learn how to hear yourself, how to recognize your emotions, how to listen to your thoughts, how to listen to your desires, basically how to listen to your heart. And through love, love towards yourself, that you are yet going to learn, because it's like somebody saying you, uh, okay, Anita, imagine that there's a guy here and now just fell, fall in love with him. And I would say like, I cannot. I don't know how to love this guy. I can't fall in love with him. I don't even know him. That's how it is. If you don't know what self-love is, if you don't really feel it, 
then you have to give yourself time to know yourself and then with practice with techniques self-love will appear you will generate it it's something new maybe for you but don't worry it will be so how to practice self-love because it is a necessary step to be healthy and he healthy and happy in your life <laughs> healthy and happy in your life well uh, you can do simple things like just pay attention how you feel care how you feel do things that make you feel better do things that you didn't do before uh, in a sense of meditation books and videos about personal development education support also go out in the nature because just being by yourself in the nature alone you are going to just be free you're going to breathe free you're going to listen to yourself you're going to again um, be with your desires and also regarding practicing self-love you do have to forgive yourself for all the mistakes that are not actually mistakes because whatever you did you did the best you could at the at the given time with the given energy with uh, the state of consciousness that you had in your past so whatever you did and however you did if you have a failure for example hug yourself forgive yourself love yourself it's just one experience in your life through which you are growing and becoming better stronger wiser person so forgive yourself and also praise yourself praise yourself write a journal where you are praising yourself for all your achievements for all your successes for all your talents and then write about gratitude write about positive aspects of your life and really do small things start with small things like you are grat grateful for grateful for health maybe grateful for your bed grateful for the meal grateful for the sun grateful for new opportunity for the knowledge for the sky for beautiful people in uh, in your surroundings etc so these are all suggestions that i did regarding teaching myself how to love myself regarding self-love and self-care and self-nourishment and with that allow yourself time for you and regardless that maybe people are going to accuse you that you are selfish also be selfish enough to say um, look this is really what i want and this is really what i don't want so this is what i want this is what i don't want uh, some relationship are really going to disappear from your life it is going to happen and better people better relationship are going to come or relationship that you already have with some people they are going to be purified and they are going to become even better so if you want to be happy remember first say no to victim patterns surroundings these 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 stuff are guilty that i'm not happy they are making me unhappy stop it and say okay okay it's my duty it's my call it's my power it's my time and it's my uh, inner job and then start with everything i said and i i was explaining so many things in in details uh in on my channel uh in the rest of my videos so if you like this video give it a thumb up and subscribe to my youtube channel hit the notification bell also you can share it and stay tuned because I am going to guide you step by step further into details about self-love and self-care and happiness. All this at the end is going to bring you success that you want. Because when you are happy, when you are in touch with yourself and when you know what self-love is, then you can have courage. 
then you make different decisions. Then you see positive aspects because you trained yourself into positive aspects. So basically you are reacting differently to challenges. Challenges are no longer problems. They are blessings. And no matter how negative and uncomfortable situations get, you still will see the blessing in the situation because you are going to already be high vibrational and high consciousness. You will know your power. And that at the end will make you stronger, more powerful, more beautiful and fulfilled, satisfied person. That's it, my dear ones, my dear viewers. And thank you so much for being here on my YouTube channel. Sending you once more lots of hugs and kisses and bye bye.